Um, this is for Kenji and Steve. What are the laws relating to minors and drinking and driving? Um, well, in essence, the, the laws are pretty similar to what they are for adults. It's against the law to uh, drive under the influence as an adult, which means driving a vehicle when your ability to drive is impaired. It's not drunk driving, which was what we normally call it. You don't have to be drunk. You just have to be under the influence. But it's, uh, it goes a step further for juveniles because if you are caught driving a vehicle when you're under the age of 18 and you've got a .01 alcohol, blood alcohol reading. Now for adults it's a .08 and .01 basically means I think if you are in a room where there's alcohol being served and you breathe it, it's probably going to register a .01. It's a tiny amount. You're going to lose your license for a year. No questions asked. And uh, if you, uh, that's if you're under 18, between 18 and 21, if you get arrested for a DUI, uh, you're going to lose your license for a year. Whereas adults, it's, uh, you're only going to lose it for 30 days and then there'll be restrictions on it. So it's, uh, the, it's a dramatic difference between getting uh, arrested for driving under the influence when you're under 21 versus when you hit 21. I mean, there are penalties either way, but under 21, you lose your license for a year. And if you get caught and you don't have a license, then it will delay your ability to get a license for a, a year. So, um, you know, and you're gonna have a program to go to, you'll have community service to do it. They, they're treated pretty harshly, uh, maybe harsh isn't the right word, they're treated very uh, strongly um, and, uh, you know, once kids find out, uh, some a lot of them are, that I represent is like, whoa, I didn't know it would be so bad. You no, know, you know what? That's you know, drunk now. Just seriously, drunk driving. You know, as much as we're all sitting there joking, that's the one thing I don't play around with. Um, I've lost many of friends to that, and they were all, every friend that I've ever lost to drunk driving, not one of them was 21. Every single matter of fact, none of them were even 20 yet. So I've lost three friends for either being in the car with somebody that was drunk or them actually driving drunk. So. That's the one thing that's kind of not funny. That's, just don't do that at all. Depending on the officer, uh, not only do you get the DUI, but um, it's a second charge on there also, just being minor, being intoxicated. Um, I don't know the, um, the penalties. Um, you know, if, it, if it's on you, if you're 18, or if it goes to the parents, if you're 17, you have a license. But you're looking at two counts. One is the DUI, then also being a, an intoxicated minor. Uh, you were asking about driving under the influence. Uh, another little known law is that if you're under the age of 21 and you get caught in possession of alcohol, not driving, not even drinking it, you get caught with a can of beer in your hand, you lose your license for a year. I had a follow up to that. What if you have an open bottle of alcohol, but it's not in, with you right there? What if it's just something someone opened and closed right back up? Just one. Depending on the officer, uh, nobody has it on their breath. It's just a bottle in the car, depending on how he feels. It's just an open container, but nobody has the alcohol in their breath. We can't pin it on anybody. We can just pour it out and let you on your way. But that gives us the right to search the car now to see what else you might have. So it's just an open window or invitation for us to see who's on probation and parole and for us to see if there's any other contraband within the car in the trunk. That's another question. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are the consequences of having a, uh, an unopened bottle of liquor in the back of your car when you're underage and you get pulled over? Is, that is this in the trunk or just in the back seat? Nothing. Nothing. It could have been your parents' car. I mean, what, as a police officer, we're, we're pretty much reactive. We can't, we're, we're not proactive in certain regards. We can't be. I can't pull you over and put you in handcuffs because I think you're going to rob a bank. So I don't, I can't assume that you're going to drink that. That's in the trunk. It could be anybody's. So it's, it's all going to be on what you tell me. If you're going to tell me that's yours. Um, then I'm able to do something. But if it's just a, a 
pack a six pack of Coors Light or whatever in the trunk, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs>